Alrighty, Scott here at Lone Wolf Armory, and we got ourselves some uh, Ruger 1022s, and they come with a single mag. So on my Ruger 1022, I decided to uh, get two additional mags and then purchase the clip that uh, gets the tri mag going. So uh, I just got it in the mail today. It was like $11 on eBay. So we're going to see exactly how this all works. So as you can see, it's called the tri mag. We'll take these OEM Ruger mags that hold 10 bullets apiece. And we'll actually connect all these together. So, let's see how this would work. The instructions say place magazine on a block, secure cap, placing both lobes into magazine depressions. Do not over tighten. So, it would appear that I definitely need a screwdriver here. So, I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to come right back with a screwdriver. All right, got my screwdriver, I'm back. Oh my Jesus. Here we go. So we are going to take out the center screw as the instructions stated here. It doesn't look to, to be that you'd have to be a brain surgeon to uh, actually get these uh, things to stay. So what I don't, I guess here is what we're going to do is just set them in each of the lobes, like it says. Make sure they're all facing the same way. And we've got them all facing the same way, so we're going to set this back down here so I can those are going to set right in those actual cutouts that are on the factory clips. I'm going to screw this back together. And what that is is just tightening three clips together. And making it as if one. So you'll load it into your gun, get done with that, pop it out, flip it, load it into your gun, pop it out, flip it, load it into your gun, pop it out, flip it. So, um, and actually, what I may do is actually reverse these, so, oh, no, I guess I won't reverse these because this is actually the portion of the magazine that's going to be facing frontwards, and this would be the backside, so, actually, this is the way it should be. I thought it one point and then I put it on backwards but this is going to be the prettier face than this and actually what I may do is go replace this with uh, some sort of um, hex head um, black type screw because um, basically it's just a machine screw that's threaded into a nut on the back so you can use basically whatever you'd like uh, in that hole that's that length so nothing special there um, and that'll be it so uh, check us out for some more videos. We've got a whole bunch of stuff coming in, and uh, we'll be doing reviews.